All right, I'm sitting here with Brittany. How you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Good, good. You just want to give me a little history about, you know, where where you're from originally, how old you are. It's just basic um, stuff. I am 33 years old. I am from Philadelphia, born and raised. Okay. Um, yeah. Right. So, <laughs> how old were you when you got into, like, hard drugs? And, and are, I guess another thing is, were you around for the original age? Like the, no. Okay. So I was not around for the original age. Okay. Um, I started using hard drugs probably at the age of like 23, 24. Okay. And what was it? Like uh, painkillers at first or something like that? Um. Well, yeah, of course. It was right. Percocets at first, her right. 30s. Um, and then that wasn't doing it. So, yeah, I had to okay. switch. Switch, man. Uh, and are you an IV? Um, that I noise? actually, I was, uh -huh. um, since I was arrested and the time I am no longer. Okay. Um, do you, now do you deal with sores? I was, the, of, okay. oh, I, I desperately was. I okay. have, my legs are horrible. So yeah. It's like almost everyone I interview has some type of sore on their mm -hmm. body. And, and so they kind of stop going, uh, stop happening when you stop shooting up. Is that? Oh yeah. Okay. Um, right now I just pretty much use crack cocaine. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I try and tell people, in the, you know, when I'm talking that the, the withdrawal, just the mental from crack can be just oh as bad, gosh. even worse than like the physical from fentanyl. It, it really is. You know, that, that short really, term really when is. you're just fiending, it could be the, the worst. Mm -hmm. So you were saying this is, this run here, you've been out a couple months? Mm hmm Okay. And would you, did you, were you, oh, I'm sorry, it was the, the jail is why you? I was in jail and then I was in a okay. rehab. So have you, have you had clean time out on the streets on your own or is it only like in the jails? No. Yeah. It's, yeah. I, I struggled with that for years, man. I'd, I'd get court ordered to go to rehab or something. Right. Do amazing in it. Right. Leave and be here a, a day later. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So. Are you just with, with crack cocaine now, or are you doing... I am just doing crack cocaine. Oh, okay. So, I, I guess... Uh, I wonder if that makes it a little bit easier down here or not. I don't know about easier. I wouldn't say... <laughs> I wouldn't say easier. Just because, like, there's always samples of dope. Right. right. There's n very seldomly samples of crack. Right. So, I guess with dope, if you're real sick and you're hurting one day, there's you, you could almost find a sample somewhere. Right. And, right. And the uh, yeah, because the crack, and the, the people don't realize that crack, that uh, that feeling has last about what ninety seconds maybe. Oh my God, if that. Sixty <laughs> seconds. If that. Yeah, and then you just begging for more. I get mm -hmm. it. Um, now, do you run in that they are um, cutting fentanyl into the, your crack? They actually are because oh, so the scary. other day I had an overdose, and I had only. So oh, no. you actually overdosed. Yeah. Did they have to Narcan you? Yes. Like two or three times. Oh my God. And you were just smoking? I was just smoking. Dude, that is so scary. Yeah. That's why I, I tell people about me, people are like wondering about me relapsing down here. I'm like, if I touch this fentanyl stuff after seven years, like I'll, I'll fall over dead. Yeah. Like it's not, you know? And it seems like it's in all the crack and even, I'm hearing it's in meth too. Oh my gosh. Which, I wouldn't be surprised. Which is wild. Like it's the, the two opposite feelings. Right. And. Complete two opposite feelings. So let me ask you a question. When you were when you overdosed that other day, mm -hmm. when you were started smoking that, did did you notice something was wrong at the time? Honestly, I don't even remember smoking it. Wow. Yeah, that's how crazy it was. Wow. I, 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 was it? Did you get it from a um, a new spot that day or? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, it was, but the regular people weren't around or yeah. something. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. It was kind of crazy. Hey, so you don't even remember like the, the smoking and nothing like that? Nope. Wow. Not at all. See, that's what makes it so scary down here with the, you know, that and like we were talking about the uh, press zannies. Those things are oh strong my gosh, too. And a lot yeah. of people die from them too, right? I mean, mm -hmm. they think they're taking a Xanax and it's, you know, cut with fat and all. They're right. done. Um, so this is where you're usually at here? With, yeah. Okay, all right. So I can, in the future, can I, you know, if I see you do a, you know, um, follow-up follow stuff like that, see how Absolutely. you're doing? 
All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate you taking the time to do this. And, um, you know, I'll look forward in the future to talking to you. All right. All right. Thanks. Have a good one.